Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. And today I am going to be taking a look at the very small and impressive catalogue from one of many different offshoots from the legendary jazz rock band Soft Machine. And this incarnation features four true legendary masters of their respective instruments and they had all played with Soft Machine at different points in the band's history. I'm talking about, of course, the one and only Softworks. So Softworks was a short-lived incarnation of Soft Machine that featured former members, guitarist Alan Holdsworth, saxophonist Elton Dean, bassist Hugh Hopper, and drummer John Marshall. Now, all four of these amazing players had all played with Soft Machine at different points in the band's history. John Marshall, of course, has played with Alan Holtz of Elton Dean and Hugh Hopper at different points in Soft Machine's history, but all four of these gentlemen had never played together in the same band. Now, in 2002, head of Moon June Records, Leonardo Pavkovic, had the idea of putting ex-members of Soft Machine in an attempt to resurrect this legendary jazz rock band for the 21st century. Now, John Marshall, of course, he has played with every single lineup and incarnation of Soft Machine, so he was a no-brainer to be on board behind the drum kit. Alan Holter, of course, is one of the most celebrated, decorated and respected guitar players of all time and has a very unique and distinct sound. When you hear Holdsworth, you know straight away it's him. He's got such an unmistakable sound on the guitar. Elton Dean, of course, was one of the most respected sax players of all time. And Hugh Hopper, of course, was one of the most iconic bass players in the band's history. So these four legendary musicians would come together to form Softworks and they would release two albums, one in 2003 and one in 2020, which I'll talk about later on as we go along here. So for today's edition, I am going to be talking about both albums individually and I'm going to choose which one I think is the best one. Not much to go with here. A small catalogue, but a very good one. So we have one studio album and one double live album. And this lineup of Soft Machine is a little bit different to some of the other incarnations. This incarnation in particular was a lot more laid back a lot more atmospheric, much more jazzier than some of the other incarnations, which were a little bit more on the proggy side of music. But at the same time, this was some very beautiful and amazing music. So we're going to start with the first album, which came out in 2003. And this one is called Abracadabra. So... Abracadabra is the only studio album that Softworks recorded, and it's a very good one. It's very impressive, very enjoyable. All four musicians at the top of their game and deliver some unbelievable playing, especially Alan Holtzoff in particular. I have always gone on record in the past many times and have said that Alan Holtzoff sounds and thrives much better in a much more looser and smaller environment. And this band is kind of like a semi-acoustic environment. And Alan Holtzoff has never sounded better than he does here. He sounds absolutely fantastic. A lot more atmospheric and laid back approach to his guitar playing. But he makes so many great sounds and he's just all over the music. He's everywhere. Even when he's not soloing, you can still hear him and he has such a large presence on this recording. John Marshall, what more can you say? One of the most iconic drummers to ever come out of the UK. He just makes everybody sound better. 
Hugh Hopper lays down lots of solid bass grooves, and Elton Dean, he just sounds like an absolute beast on the saxophone. And him and Holsworth together, you know, they make a very unique front line and they make some amazing sounds together. So let's have a look. So we have Elton Dean on alto sax, saxello, Fender Rhodes, electric piano, Alan Holsworth on guitar and synfax, Hugh Hopper on electric bass and John Marshall on drums. And there they are in action. Excellent stuff. Hugh Hopper and John Marshall, they just make an amazing rhythm section and they are the backbone of this band. And John Marshall's drumming is the real difference maker for all of these bands and especially this incarnation in particular. And as I said, Elton Dean and Alan Holdsworth just sound incredible together. So most of the compositions are co-composed by Elton Dean and there's a few contributions by John Marshall and Alan Holtzworth and Hugh Hopper. As I said, it's you could kind of look at this as Elton Dean is the main guy of the band, but the others, you know, they have a big say in it as well and, you know, they play a huge part in the music. And most of the tracks are fairly long. Lots of tracks are clocking in at 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 8 minutes and 7 minutes. So there's some fairly long tracks on Abracadabra. So we kick off this album with the first track, which is 7 Formerly, which is 10 minutes long. And it's written and composed by Dean and Marshall. And it starts off with very atmospheric and lush sounds from Holdsworth's Synfax before going into a much more ballad type of feel with Holdsworth playing some very textural guitar playing and Elton Dean bringing in some more restrained sax playing and Marshall and Hopper great rhythm section one thing about Soft Machine as a whole they always had great rhythm sections and these two especially John Marshall they're the real difference maker for this album. And this is a great way to start off Abracadabra with a very nice laid back number. Then we have First Train, which is 11 minutes long. Another great track as well. And the next track, which could very well be my favourite of the entire album, which is at eight minutes long, Elsewhere. And it starts off with Holtzworth playing some lovely guitar soundscapes. And then it just goes into this fast paced number with John Marshall's drumming. Elton Dean just sounds like a man possessed. He's like a machine on the sax and great bass work from Hugh Hopper and a great guitar solo from Holsworth. And he's just all over the music. And he could very well be the most dominant man of this entire album. And he has such a large presence. And this could very well be my favorite track of the whole album. I love this track elsewhere. It's just amazing and then we've got the next track which is k licks another great track and then we got baker street which is a much more laid-back number you know holds of and dean playing together in a much more restrained manner and it's just very lovely and as i said it's more like a ballad and it's just got lots of great sounds from all four members then we got willie's knee which is more of Fender Rhodes from Dean. And then we got the title track, Abracadabra, which is like seven minutes long. So it's a really good track as well. And then we got the closer, which is composed by Holt of Van Marshall called Madam Vintage. Now it's more like a guitar and drum jam. It starts off very slowly with Holt of guitar playing, and then Marshall quietly comes in on the drums. And then for about the next two or three minutes, they just absolutely burn it up together and then they just bring it to a nice quiet close and it's just absolutely lovely and you know we started off very quietly at the beginning with seven formerly and then we just absolutely burn it up at the end with madam vintage and it's a really good way to close out this album you know with holt and marshall just tearing it up together on guitar and drums really good way to close this album 
So the standout tracks for me are Seven, Formerly, Elsewhere, Baker Street, and Madam Vintage, but an amazing album. And sadly, the only studio album that we got from this short-lived incarnation of Soft Machine, but a very good one nonetheless. So there you have it. Soft Works, Abracadabra, the only studio album we got from this amazing band. Now we move on to the next album, which came out in 2020. And unfortunately, we would lose three of the four members of this amazing band. Elton Dean would pass away in 2006. Hugh Hopper would pass away in 2009. And just recently, we lost Alan Holtz in 2017. And John Marshall is the only surviving member of Softworks. So it's a real shame that three of the four members of Softworks are no longer with us. But what an unbelievable collection of music they left for us. And I would have liked to have seen Softworks stay together for a little bit longer, maybe bring out one more studio album. But anybody who follows Holtov, he doesn't like to stay in the same place for too long. He likes to move on to different things. And we got John Etheridge back and, you know, thus Soft Machine Legacy was born. So I suppose everything worked out fine in the end, but it just would have been nice to um, had this band just last a little bit longer, maybe release like one more studio album. So we move on to the next album, which came out in 2020, and this is a double live recording. Softworks, Abracadabra in Osaka. So the same lineup, Elton Dean on saxello, alto sax and Fender Rhodes piano, Alan Holdsworth on guitar, Hugh Hopper on bass and John Marshall on drums. So most of the tracks on both discs feature material from the Abracadabra studio album. And there are also a couple of reworks of Soft Machine classics. So let's have a look. So there we are. There's the band. And there's uh, some interesting uh, sleeve notes here as well. I'm just going to have a look here. And there's the band in action. Nice. So there they are. Some lovely pictures here from the gig. Yeah. So a lot of the sleeve notes here you see talk about how Softworks came to be, how this all started, how this was all the brainchild of the head of Noon June Records. And it also gives you a little bit of detail of um, the four members' days in Soft Machine. It's quite interesting reading when you learn about the history of this band and how all of us really came together because of John Marshall. We all agreed to do it because you know John Marshall was involved. So it's quite nice that they, John Marshall is looked upon as like the guy who brings all these guys together. And a little um, interview here. And um, some more here from that interview as well. And uh, there's both albums with different covers. There's a the sleeve notes, and it's got all like the list of the dates that Softworks did during that tour. And there's also a nice little tribute to. Holds with Hopper and Dean. So nice stuff here. I would say really nice. So on disc one, we got seven formerly. Alf Fresalen, which was a track that Holds have composed but has never been recorded. It was only played live. It was featured on All Nights Wrong. Elsewhere, Baker Street, Calyx, and Soft Machine Classic kings and queens and then on disc two we got abracadabra madam vintage suite which is like a little bit more longer than the original hasrith first train 
and facelift. So a lot of the softworks compositions you hear here are getting more like extended versions. So whereas some tracks were like eight minutes live, it's like maybe like 12 minutes or something or 11 minutes. So it's nice to hear these softworks material getting a little workout here. So the standout tracks for me on this one is Elsewhere, which is a lot more slower than the original studio cut. So much more heavier and a lot more muscle to it than the original. Seven, Formerly, another great track. No Simfax on this album, so it's just Holtz doing a lot of the sounds on his guitar as opposed to Simfax. Kings and Queens, never get tired of hearing it. It's a soft machine classic and one of their most iconic tracks and then standout tracks for me on disc two is madam vintage suite which is almost nine minutes long and it's guitar drum jam with holter and marshall really good track those and first train another great track as well and facelift so it's a really good track as well so so some really en enjoyable live performances from all four musicians but the real you know, standout man of this quartet is definitely Holtzworth. And if I had to choose a second one, it's John Marshall. You know, John Marshall is, what more can you say about him? He's, he's one of the all-time greats of drumming, in my opinion. So there you have it. Softworks, Abracadabra in Osaka. Great live album. And unfortunately, the only live album this band did put out, really. But unfortunately, both men you know, of this quartet, three of them would, you know, sadly be all gone and Marshall was the only one left. So which album do I think is the best one? Well, that's a tough one. They're all good. There's only two, but I'm going with Abracadabra studio album. I love this. It's really good. And, you know, it's got some of my favorite tracks of this band from this album. And Holt of, you know, as much as I love the double live album, I like this one just a bit more. I think Holt of sounds really good on um, this album. And as I said, he's never sounded better than he does here in this semi acoustic quartet. Fantastic stuff. And special credit has to go to Mark Wingfield for doing the production and cleaning up this live recording for Apricadabra in Osaka. He did a fantastic job. and he himself is a fantastic guitar player. So there you have it. Both studio albums, Softworks Abracadabra and Softworks Abracadabra in Osaka. And sadly that three of these amazing musicians are no longer with us. John Marshall would go on to play in Soft Machine Legacy with these guys. And we would see the return of Roy Babington and Theo Travis would join. And that incarnation lasted a really long time. And John Marshall just recently announced his retirement and he's hung up his drumsticks for good. And Roy Babington, of course, he's also retired from the band. So very interesting how all this started in the 21st century with Softworks and it led to the rebirth of Soft Machine after, you know, going back to their original name after dropping Legacy. So it's a very interesting story. And... I think everything worked out for the best. So that's going to be it for me. I'm going to wrap this up now. Which of the two Softworks albums are your favourites? Is it Softworks Abracadabra or is it Softworks Abracadabra in Osaka? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. So until then, take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.